okay and the main name is open lecture dot inst click OK and then we restart and once the restart kicks in or when it comes back online we have a login change from the the standard login to control alt delete which is very famous for machines that are joined to a given domain whenever you see the control or delete on a on an operating system login screen it means that that particular machine is probably being joined to uh, a domain or it's been managed by a domain server a uh, domain controller somewhere within the premises or within organization unit so let's see if that shows up And then we should have a, a machine on uh, managed directly. And we're going to be using the IT account name, which happens to be my name, to, to log on to the machine now. And let's see if my login goes through. If it goes through, that means that we successfully added the, this machine, this workstation, to the domain controller, as well as authenticated um, a user account that's on the domain controller as well. Okay, so that's it. That's the syndication. And this machine has been joined to domain successfully. So now, when it comes to log, you don't want to log in to the machine anymore. The, 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 the machine name you see over here represents the name of the machine itself but we don't want to do that we want to log on to domain so we have to switch user click other users and in this place we're going to type the username that we, that we want to use and um, ideally always put the domain name in front in lecture slash forward slash so open lecture for us on a username to indicate that you are logging onto a domain name. So always put a domain name in front without the INST. You can also do the INST, uh, but it would have to be in this format. Dot uh, INST at. Sorry, it will be your name. If you want to go with this approach instead, it will be your username at open lecture. INST. Okay, the same concept, same approach, but I prefer to go with this approach instead. Open lecture, the domain name without the uh, the uh, upper upper level domain name. Uh, so open lecture, and then forward slash for Windows machine, and then the username account that you want to use to log on, and then now uh, the password of that user account. A default password we created and then it should ask you to change it to so the user's password must be changed before logging onto the machine the first time so that's allowed because it will be indicated on the account creation within the domain controller we requested that the user must uh, change the path the default password to their own password so we're going to do that so the default password is up now create your own new account or new password now so now I'm creating my own password now or the users creating their own account password and then once you do that click OK and it checks authentication says your password has been changed so that's good click OK on the server so now it's trying to log you on, activate later. Okay. And then our new personalized profile should be coming up or should be loading up.
talking about this. The most important thing is we've been logged on successfully. Let's uh, see what the interface for our login icons looks like. Let's try to show desktop accounts. Let's show this profiles and networks. Apply. Okay. So if you notice, the name that we created on the domain has showed up as a user. Okay. And then if you go to uh, my computer once again, properties, advanced system settings. Now, since because you're a regular user, you always be required to um, use admin account to access some of these uh, uh, properties on the machine. And with this, in this, in this setup, with this setup that we have, it helps you basically uh, prevent users from modifying companies, organizations, machines, and their settings. So that's a good security measure that you put into place by joining the devices to the domain. So the domain controls every activity of every given device or machine or computer on their network. So users cannot just, you know, make any modification, go to properties and settings without administrative uh, privilege rights or permissions. It always makes the system much more secured. So now you notice that you are part of domain and navy. So that's great. Click OK. And folks, that is how you pretty, pretty much join uh, 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 a, a machine to a domain controller. Uh, in this illustration over here. So we've joined this um, workstation to the server, to the Atidoji server. So in this scenario here, so which makes the um, the AD, the directory server that pretty much manages this workstation from now on. Okay. So uh, with that said, I'm going to say we've been able to accomplish um, more or less uh, entire design, uh, entire uh, network system design implementation. Um, I, I, because of memory and slowness of the system, I don't want to add another uh, workstation or not, uh, guest operating system to the, system, to the setup yet. Otherwise, we'll just freeze up a machine. Um, so, but since we have one of them join, uh, we've pretty much accomplished the uh, uh, our mission or what we set up to do. I mean, uh, the concept is pretty much uh, set straight. That uh, yes, you can you can set up a, an Active Directory server and join domains to them and have your uh, your domain controller basically manage a particular system. Are we good? Um, and then let me move on to one last setting. Let's make sure our DNS is resolving perfectly over here. CMD. So now you have your username and then a domain that you're attached to. What are you connected to? Attach your name now. So let's do um, uh, uh, what you more call it? Uh, a simple DNS uh, resolution test, which is NS lookup. NS lookup. Let's look NS lookup see what shows up. Great. So NS lookup shows that our domain name happens to be, our domain server happens to be, or our DNS uh, resolution server happens to be. AD server and uh, open lecture dot institution. It has an IP address of 192.168.1.10. Okay. So what about this machine itself? So now we have to type the name. 
So now it's a text space. Let's see if the uh, reverse lookup is working. Enter. It looks like it's working perfectly. So it was able to, the DNS was able to locate that Deno is part of the um, uh, directory server with an IP address of 1.100. Let's confirm that by going back to our AD and then go to tools. So I need to log back in because I was logged out. So we need to go to tools, um, active directory users and computers. See the computers on the computer, see if it shows up. Yep, it showed up now. Remember before earlier on, before we joined this machine to the remote, there was nothing over here, it was empty. Now that we join them with the new machine to the or which is one to the machine to the system to the server or to the AD, it has registered over here, indicating that now the domain controller here is managing that particular machine as well. So that's a good thing. That's great, that's wonderful. Uh, so now let's do the forward lookup where we type the IP address. Uh, okay, let me go back to the server again one more time. And then check the uh, DNS and see if uh, our pointers are working perfectly. Uh, so we have our forward lookup for our domain. The name has been added, that's IP address. And for the reverse, it's also been, uh, let me see if it's, so let's refresh it. Uh, for some reason, it's not registered over here yet. Let me see if uh, maybe we didn't activate something. Properties, pointers are set, securities, pointers are up. Uh, let me go back to the for lookup and uh, see. Okay, I think I know what's going on. It's pointer is also indicated over here. Okay, so let's just give some time for it to replicate across. So you can replicate, like, replicate across. Refresh. Okay, don't worry. It should show up later as the replication keeps going on with time. Uh, let's just try to type here directly 192.168.1.100. Okay, so yeah, so that, that's the issue I was trying to point out. It, it, that was, it's not res, it's not responding uh, reversely automatic. It's not doing the update automatically from the reverse lookup. So let's go back and see. What we probably need to do over here, we have something we're missing here. Uh, forward lookup should be done automatically. Okay. Point is set up. When I set up as well. Yes, yeah, reload it so we can see if we can have some point of replication across here as well. So at least our reverse lookup works the way we want it to work. Sometimes it doesn't do it. So if it doesn't happen automatically, you have to get the app to add it manually, you know. Um, it would be nice if, uh, if it actually was. Um, okay, new pointer. So I'm going to put a new pointer over here. Let me just browse it. 
uh, under direct directory services forward and then it was internal so okay um, allow any authenticated users to update yes allow that allow authenticated users or user to update all DNS records the same name with the same name um, trying to okay so let's click OK so now it shows up over here it's not statically configured so let's go back to our the new one and do that again and see so now I picked it up notice I picked it up now because it's been added to the reverse lookup I was hoping it would do it automatically I'm, I'm pretty sure with time we'll start doing it automatically for you um, then I've I allowed I've, I've indicated that your I've indicated that um, uh, authenticated users should be able to update some of these records I'm pretty sure after that will start working out preferably okay so that looks that looks good so far. What about the the server itself? One six eight, which one out of ten? That's also looking good. Okay, so so far we got our um, system working. Our DNS are resolving perfectly. We can resolve names and uh, IP addresses and back and forth. You know, like that AD server here. And they should be able to pick it up. There you go. Uh, we have we have the option to even add our um, software router into a, a resolution as well, but there's no need for it. There's no there's no point for that right now. The most important one, the most important ones are the uh, devices like your workstations. So the most important ones that needs to be joined to domain so you can control them and remotely manage them which you've successfully accomplished so that's great uh, let me go back to the server and then run some few tests let me check back to my domain controller uh, diagnosis do you see diagnosis here Yes, uh, see, numbers have changed now. Look at that. It's looking good now. Yes, with time, you get. Remember, we used to have a bunch of errors, update, take, uh, uh, fill records, not responding, and what have you. I look at the new setup. Let me play this so you can see it. And then uh, let's try it again. So now let's do DC promo, DC diagnose again. Now look, everything looks clean. You notice that? So we have our directory server diagnostics test indicating that home server is the forest that's within um, the default first site's name, uh, pass successful connectivity, uh, pass advertising. Everything passed, 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 but that's what you, you were looking for at the end of the day. There are no, you know, failed uh, diag uh, diagnosis. So once you have this, a clean cut um, AD diagnosis, so DC diagnosis, uh, it tells you you pretty much have a successful system in, uh, in, uh, set up to handle your organization in terms of directory services and resolutions. Very good, folks. So this is a really good um, uh, lab that we've gone through, and I'm happy it turned out pretty good. Uh, so we've been able to accomplish our design, our network system design implementation setup successfully. Everything looks to be working perfectly the way we want it. And on that note, I'm going to say let's just wrap it up over here. But you know, just go through it, guys. Um, spend some time, go through this, and see if you can get it to, to work on your machine. 
And if it doesn't, always let me know, hit me up, you know, and then I can work, I can walk through with you and go through the, the whole process all over with you again. Uh, or if you have, if you're stuck somewhere, let me know so I can help you out. All right. All right, folks, on that note, it's a wrap.